Scott, how would you assess the three championship games so far? What you've been able to, to get out of the players? For me, you know, two tough away games, taking two draws there and a win at home, you know, that that's good form for me at this level, you know, the games are relentless at championship level. Um, and to take, you know, five out of nine with two tough away games, we'd be more than pleased with that. And, you know, the players, to be fair to them, have given us everything, you know. Even at Brighton on, on Tuesday night, we didn't play well. But I, sh I thought you could see the character and, you know, the desire to play for the club. Um, even what that brings to the team, really, because even when not playing well, we've still come away with a point. And that's, oh, that's massive at this level. Do you feel the team's turned a corner? The results have surely gone the, the right way, you know. We're unbeaten in three in the league um, after coming through the last 12, two tough away games and one home. Yeah, I'm sure we would have taken that and it's going the right way. And when the new manager comes in, do you know what your role will be then? No, definitely not. But, you know, like we said, we've enjoyed it. So, you know, hopefully if, if it is right when the new manager comes in and we've got a place to fit in, then I'm sure we'll have a good discussion about it. And, you know, if we can if we can make it happen, I'm sure we'll be both happy with that. Will you find it easy to go back to what you were doing before? What do you mean with the 18s? Yeah. Yes, the same thing. You know, I enjoy managing, coaching football players. So, you know, obviously we want to do it at the highest level possible, but that's what we enjoy doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So, if it means going back to that, yeah, we'll no problem, no problem at all. What about you, Danny? Has this given you a taste of something? that you want to strive for and maybe feel different about before you've been given a flavour? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I when you're a player, you kind of, you you only play really. You train, you play, you come in, you don't see the the other side, uh, the management side of things, what it entails, what, you know, all the detail you have to go through and all the different things you have to organise. It's, it's, it is very different, <laughs> to be fair. So... Um, you know, at first I was a bit worried, wondering whether I'd be able to handle it and, you know, you're a bit scared because it's a very different role and things you don't really know about. But, you know, in a way it was good because we got thrown into it and, you, and, you know, you get to learn quickly. And as you said, we've both got good knowledge of football, but it's just learning the other side of management, and, you know, talking to players and, you know, making good decisions and stuff. So, yeah, that's something we've both enjoyed and, you know, I have really enjoyed the role and yeah, I think I have maybe looked at this a little bit different now and it's something that I would be quite interested in doing, yeah, for sure. At the end of this season, maybe? Do you anticipate this being the last season as well? I'm not really sure. Um, being kind of put into this role, it does make you think a little bit different then. Um, obviously, when I come here, I still had my thoughts on playing and, you know, I still feel I can play you know, as long as I can really, another year or two or whatever, you know, you, you take it kind of season by season when you get to <laughs> kind of my age, so you know, the body feels and stuff. So, you know, I still think I've got stuff to offer as a player, but, you know, when you do get thrown into this kind of role, you know, you do start thinking a little bit differently and maybe that accelerates your thoughts about finishing a little football a little bit quicker as well. So I, I, I don't know, I just have to see what happens now in the next few days with you know with the new manager and stuff and you know probably make a few decisions quite soon I would have thought so. Scott talked about conversations with with the owner uh, were you involved with those? Yeah we both kind of you know get involved with, obviously we're we're a team so you know we both want to know what's kind of going on so um, yeah we all speak together and you know as Scott said you know, we've had conversations, but, you know, we, we're kind of just taking it day by day, really. That's how it's been. You know, we, we get our instructions, you know, you're taking this game, you're taking the game Friday, and that's about all we kind of really know, really. So, um, you know, we're looking forward to the game Friday, get that out of the way, and then, you know, mm -hmm. we'll talk again and see what's, what's going to happen in the next few days. He's obviously a, a colourful character, your, your owner. Um, He's done an interview this week where he suggested that his interest in this club may, may not be permanent, that he may go off and, and invest in a different club. What did you make of that? I don't think he should read into that too much. I think he's, 
you know, he's a, he's a businessman. He's obviously done very well with that and he's got a lot of different interests and it's, I don't really think you should really look into that one too much. Um, I know he loves football. He's starting to, you know, he watches a lot more football now. He's he's getting into the game, understanding the game more. So I think that's just him showing his love for football, really. So, um, you know, I don't think we should worry too much about that or kind of fans should worry about that. I think he's been really committed to the club so far. He's put a lot of money into the club and, you know, he wants the, the club to do well. So. The other interesting thing he said, I thought, was... Um that he would not interfere in team selection, that the, the new manager would pick the team, but that he would give advice and have an influence. And I think he said that was logical given his investment. Um, what do you make of that? To be honest with you, I think it's normal around a lot of clubs. I think there's quite a lot of chairmen who are like that, uh, owners who are like that. And, you know, you can kind of see his point of view to an extent. You know, as a manager, obviously, you want to be having the final say on you know who's going out there on a Saturday but I think it's quite common at a lot of clubs now where owners they do have their opinions and I think that's fine I, you know he, he's as I said he he likes football he wants to see the team do well and he owns the club so he can have an opinion as far as I'm concerned um, um, on players and if they want to who he thinks maybe should play but then I think the final decision then is always with the management team and and that's that's how it's been with us so far. So I think that's that's just normally. It's not just at Cardiff. You know, I've seen it at other clubs as well. So. so has he made any suggestions to the two of you? He's no. talked football with us, obviously. But to be fair, like I say, he's given us the free reign. You know, what you've seen in the games we've taken in charge has been our decision. And that's simple as that. You know, but we've had conversations about football. Yeah, for certain. He's invested a lot of money into the football club. You know, he's he's got the right to you know talk football with us. But has he asked you, look, why isn't so and so playing? Why aren't you picking so and so? Has it been that detailed? He asked questions about certain players, of course, because he cares for them as well. Um, he cares for all the players he's got here, and you know we have conversations about different players every time we talk to him. It's not um, anything wrong with it. It's just you know just wants to know what's happening at his, at his football club. Looking at uh, tomorrow's game, Scott, um, Blackpool uh, gone through difficulty. Is this a, a good fixture to have at this stage? Blackpool, it's going to be a tough game. It's, you know, championship level, there's no easy games. You know, We've watched a lot of their videos for the last four or five games. I know they've played well and been unlucky in quite a few of those. So we you know, don't underestimate them tomorrow. We've got to be there and we've got to be spot on tomorrow. Um, both offensively and defensively, so it's, it's, you know, it's going to be tough for us. If you were to win, Danny, and, and it is to be your last game, will there be an element of <coughs> regret, I suppose, disappointment, tinging the, the satisfaction because it, it would be your last game? Um, no, I think. Or in the league, be nice. Yeah, if we can get a good result tomorrow, then we'll something like maybe if, if it's our last game, we'll sign off and we'll be really proud of our efforts really um, obviously you know if you're getting good results every week you you just want that to continue and as I said we both enjoyed the role we've been put in and but you know on the whole I think we'll just be really proud of what we've done I think you know we're already happy with what we've managed to do in the 12 days we've been in charge it's been tough and there's been you know a lot of things to kind of to deal with and try and you know, getting the lads to believe in us, you know, two guys who, you know, I walked into the dressing room as a player and youngies come up from under 18s, you know, that can be tough getting the lads to, to buy into what, you know, we're about, but, you know, they've been fantastic, you know, their effort and commitment to us has been brilliant and, you know, I'm sure we'll see that again tomorrow and, you know, hopefully get a good result and, yeah, we'll... You know, if the new manager comes in the next few days, we can be proud, I think, of of what we've done in the short time that we've been in charge. Lastly, for me, do you both still feel the club can go up? Yeah, I mean, you just got to look at the table. I mean, I think we're, we're seven points from top, is it? At the moment? I think so. Yeah. Thirty points. thirty odd plus games to go. Why wouldn't we think that? 
you know, it's a, it's a long, old, hard season in the championship, and you know, it's a long, long way to go. Um, being seven points off the top of the table at this stage is, is you know, it's nothing. Long, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing. I think it's early days. As I said the other week when I spoke to you guys, it's, it's almost like people don't believe or as if it's the last six, seven games of the season, we're down there and can we still do it kind of thing. It's, you know, it's still early. I think we're still getting better as a team. I think you see the three performances or four performances, there's been ups and downs in there and, you know, we can get a lot better in a lot of things. But, you know, if we're unbeaten, basically because of the hard work and you know the work ethic of the players and the commitment so if that's there every week then that's great because that's what you're looking for and then it's all about you know us playing better keeping the ball better you know trying to score more goals and those other things which will take a little bit of time as well but you know already we've seen improvement from the team and there's a lot more to come so um yeah, we're confident, and as the youngie said, there's a long way to go, and hopefully we can just keep getting better and better. And you know, you see, like it's not about where you are at this time in the league; it's about where you are in May. And you know, you, you often see teams coming with runs, you know, after Christmas, unbeaten, and and ending up at the top. So you know, that just goes to show there are a lot of games to go, a lot of things can happen. And yeah, we we we're, we're pretty confident and. If we can keep improving, then you know there's no reason why we can't be there or thereabouts.